Football face off, episode one Rangers versus Celtic, Jacob versus Aaron. Well, we have the boys here, but make sure you're liking, following, subscribing, and commenting any other ideas and things you want us to do. But today, what we are doing is we're having a wee conversation about football. <laughs> Love to see it. Hey, boys, how are we? I'm very good. I'm, I'm very good, mate. Yep. Confident. Confident? Confident. 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 Yeah, we'll see about that. Really. My first question for you boys today is, mm. for you to discuss, is who has got the better captain currently? We'll start off with the home side. Mr. Jacob, who do you think has got the better captain? Currently. Right currently, now. I'm not talking about past and Then I'm going to say James Tavernier because I don't think Cal McGregor could play football right now. Is that your argument? No, I think... Oh, I think it's really close. Um, I wouldn't swap Tav for McGregor. So surely then, I think he's better if I'm not going to swap him. Yeah, I'm sticking with that. Well, different for, different position. I know, but I just mean like I wouldn't... I think Tavenier's more important to Rangers than McGregor is to Celtic. I think Celtic are still winning games without McGregor. I don't think we would without Tav. That's a good point. Adam, what do you think to combat that about, about Tav before you give your... Um, I think Jacob is looking perhaps at Tav's end product rather than his ability to lead the team. Uh, I believe Celtic are a much worse side without Cal McGregor and I would swap Tavernier for McGregor for the leadership that he brings uh, he's as the, uh, he has the anchor to Celtic's midfield O'Reilly and Hitati or whoever it is Bernardo completely play off him and we've seen for the last couple of games where they've not had McGregor the performance has been worse obviously they played today they played against Livingston and I think they did well but that's the best that they've played without McGregor they've been woeful without him I do think my Sunday league team would beat Livingston though, so... You've been, you've been quite nice here. You've given yeah. your, your answer. I, I, knew, think because I, knew neither, I think right now neither team have a ratty captain. Yeah. Like, so uh, what, what do you mean by that? Like, I would say bef- their most recent one deliberately tried to wind up Rangers fans and I'd say before that Ferguson done the same for Rangers. Whereas mm. I think both captains now there's maybe a bit more respect. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I, what football's becoming. How much do you respect Tavenier? I respect years. what he has contributed to Rangers. Of course, he has now the highest scoring defender in British football, I believe. That was, I believe that was You the know stat. the stats, you know. There's no I believe. He uh, looks it up. Nah, I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've seen it all over Twitter. Uh, but no, I think what Tavernier has contributed in the nine years he's been at Rangers... Has, nine you know, years? <laughs> you knew that? He's got the stats. That's wild. He looks it up. I was going to say, he has the best captain you've had since Ferguson. Yeah. I will say that for him. Yeah. So, but you wouldn't swap him for Callum McGregor? I would not swap him for Callum McGregor. Would you swap him for your current right back? Would I swap... James <laughs> Tavernier for Alistair Johnson this is going to come across as exceptionally biased but I don't care yes that is the whole point you would swap I, w- I would swap you would swap I would swap Johnson for Tavernier Johnson's played at a World Cup Wait, was part no. of a fantastic would team. or wouldn't I do would... you want Johnson or Tavernier let's not I, I want Johnson right. in my team over James Tavernier oh right I was, getting, I was honestly yeah. you were throwing me there as well he was all, he no idea shoulder. he definitely did <laughs> Johnson Uncle didn't Baker. really do that though but I... <laughs> Jacob, what about you? Oh, that's ludicrous. That's not even a conversation. That's like me saying I'd rather Scott Wright instead of Kyogo or something. Like that's just nonsense. Yeah, yeah. I, that's fa- fair enough. I, but what about if I asked the question to you? Would you bring Cal McGregor into your midfield to start every day? Yeah, he comes in. He joins the midfield and he gets good games. Does he captain your side? No, no, no. If you got Tavernier, would he captain your side? That's just not how it works, though, is it? No. It's not really how it works. Right? <laughs> I'm looking for something here. <laughs> nah, I'm you're not. Fishing. I was going to say, we're both smart boys. We've not played this too early. So, no. No. Cal McGregor definitely starts, gets good minutes. I think he would partner Lundstrom pretty well, actually. Do you think so? I think it would actually be a good signing. Maybe we should, when we get win the league and get Champions League, McGregor could come in. Nah, he's just going no way. <laughs> I heard he was a Rangers fan when he was young. Is that not true? Listen, I don't particularly care who they support as long as they do a good job for Celtic, which Cal McGregor so clearly does. Okay, so I, I feel like we've not got the answer that I wanted. I wanted a more of a fight, but you're just both being nice and saying, my oh, right. captain's better, your captain's worse. I thought, is that not what you wanted? That's kind of what I wanted, but I wanted more, for, honestly. This is just question one. I'm just because, warming up. Firstly, our captain's unbelievable, and secondly, their captain does well for Scotland, and I'm a big Scotland fan. Yeah, so, so you're not going to I feel like there's more of a respect there with yeah. Jacob as a result of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You did... You did take your current right back to over Tavenier. <laughs> I am that. Would you take Ralston over Tav? <laughs> right, okay. Prob- Let's be fair, probably not. <laughs> Let's be fair, probably not. No? He is at least better than Ralston, I think. 
Oh, that's, like, that's good of you to say. It's good of you to say. Right, we'll move on because we're not really getting anywhere. We know you're just going to go for your own caps. And, and fair enough, I would do the same. We'll take it to a different sort of question. We will go for who's had the better season this season so far? I would say us, and I think it's quite comfortable. Uh, with the game in hand, if we win it, we're top. We've won the only trophy this season and we got further in Europe. That, I'd say if Celtic think they've done better than their standards have dropped Celtic win, have been winning so many yeah. they've won nothing I will agree with that I think Celtic have been the architects of their own downfall this season in a lot of ways have beat Rangers twice already and, and still behind that says even more I think we're ahead at the moment at the current moment one point ahead played more games come on there you go psychologically going into this derby top of the league clear by a point does put the pressure a little bit on Rangers but if you were asking me if this has been a better Celtic season than last season, then definitely not. No, just a better season. That's, I didn't say that. Be- better He's season. He's good at this, media trade. Yes. I would say, is it a better season than what Rangers have had this year? Probably not. Probably not. Highlight why? <laughs> well, Jacob kind of said it. Like, they have got further in Europe. Yes. They have managed to pick up points where we've been slacking. Yes. They have got one trophy, unfortunately. Yes. So, right now... Comparing that, it's Celtic have had a worse season, yeah. but this game is still very important. The fact that Celtic are still on the hunt at this stage. Did you call him? <laughs> <laughs> no, the I... fact that the fact that Celtic are still well for a shout of if they win this game, going clear at the top of the league and being favourites for the league, I think it's good enough at this stage. I think we kind of did expect the standards to drop after Ange left. Was sudden, went to Spurs. Rogers coming back. Managers never tend to do that well the second time around. And Rogers is standing the first time around where exemplary. Walter Smith did. He did, but outlier case. Never always happens. <laughs> there you go. I think you're both agreeing there. That's, that's nice and easy. It's nice and easy. Both agree. You've obviously won a trophy. You went further in Europe. But you're both kind of neck and neck in the league. I would say both aren't actually that good at the moment. I would agree. But yeah. I'm saying to like their normal standards, I mean, I don't mean... Yeah. Celtic certainly aren't. Yeah. Celtic certainly aren't. Celtic certainly aren't, but Rangers, is this their normal level? Uh, I was going to say, they have improved. That was good. They have improved under Clermont to be at Celtic's lower level. Right, okay. I, I see. Uh, we're, we're just, <laughs> so you think Celtic's natural level is higher Celtic's than what Rangers is? Celtic's natural level is much higher than this with the squad that they've got. Right, okay. 100%. And what tells you that? Look at last season, won a treble. Got, and got the very, very best out of that squad. Mm. Had Callum McGregor firing, they, Biotati. They peaked. They didn't peak. Downward spiral. Not downward spiral. No. Okay. So there's another level to this Celtic squad, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. Well, boys, it's still quite nice. Let's make this tasty. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a board in front of us here. Yeah. And that's because we're going to make a nice wee combined 11 draft. Ooh. Together? But you have to agree. Okay. It's... <laughs> oh, no. There's going to be so many positions we don't. So, if, for if, those of you who are watching this video, this, if this video takes an hour, <laughs> then you'll know why. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. If you do not agree... You decide. You will simply have to be persuading me. Okay. So, As certain favours might need to be asked for. <laughs> Okay. Of, of a certain variety. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. There's Boy, a lot of easy decisions, I think. But if you say so, but we'll see with we'll Aaron. See, we'll see yeah. how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Right. Aaron, Jacob, nice place to start. Who's your goalkeeper? Who's your goalkeeper, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> this is closer than he will say, I think. But I think it is just Butland. Just. I, I'll agree. Just Jack Butland. Just Jack Butland? Like, just. A lot of hate is given Joe Hart's way very unfair. By you? <laughs> Sometimes by me. <laughs> Sometimes by me, but I will say he has impressed in the last couple of weeks. He has improved to that level. And you know what? It's a nice story before he retires. He has improved. He's got back to a level that he's contributing positively towards Celtic. He's not a liability. It is close. I will it's no defend. longer a liability. <laughs> a lot of Celtic fans would say he's a liability. Well, he would, well, would have said he was a liability. Would Rangers fans say that about Butland? 
I don't think any. Find, I don't think you'll find a single one yeah. that has anything negative to say about. I, I think now. with this one, maybe you look at it as I'm saying currently, not yeah. what they've done oh, in the yeah. past. Cur- okay, currently it is Jack Butler. Yeah, you might pencil that in. Uh, I'm kind of holding my mic. Oh, Aaron or Aaron, whoever he wants to write in Butlins, oh, whatever you want them. He's writing Super Jack Butland in goal. You're getting Butland. You're not getting Super Jack. (laughs) (laughs) In goal. Right. Well, we've already discussed this position earlier on, but we'll all go with it now. Who is the right back for this team? I feel like this is going to go to a vote and you're going to be very easily convinced by this man. Because (laughs) you, well, you do rate James Tavernier. So do you. You're just (laughs) being biased. Come on. (laughs) I mean, I'm going to argue for Alistair Johnson. I think Admittedly, he's not been as good under Ange, but he's still been one of the better defenders that Celtic have had this season. Outside- it doesn't say much. Taylor's rubbish, and you're only good centre half, Carter Vickers. So him being next best. Could argue the same with Barisic. Could argue the same yeah, but with Barisic. Isn't our star anymore? Could argue the same with Sutter. I know, but Tav's our right back. It has to be. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm asking for a right back here. I don't. I know you're mentioning a lot of other yeah, players yeah. there. I'm saying James Tavernier. I'm saying Alistair Johnson, but I know I'm fighting a losing battle here. Yeah, you definitely are. I'm, I, I don't, I'm not trying to you don't want pick to be biased. a side here, but I, it has to be Tavin here. The amount of goals he scores, that, that just says it all. He's a right back. Not even just the goals he scores. That's yeah. so, I mean, realistically, I he's a better right, defender than Johnson as well. Great set, great set piece artist. I will give that to Tavin. <laughs> great set piece yesterday. Oh, wait. It wasn't a set piece. Actually, just open play, as always. As always. Uh, he says as always. Would you like to pencil in James Tavin for me? I, I reckon... You. Tavernier has more open oh. play goals for Rangers than Johnston in his career. I reckon actually more in the last three seasons open play goals than Johnston has in his career. You forget that Johnston was playing in the MLS. What does that mean? I don't know. I was going to say the MLS before Lionel Messi came there and everybody seemed to love the league for some reason. So are you saying you think Johnston would have more than Tavernier? I then? think he would have more. Was he an attacking fullback? He is fairly attacking, yes. He was very attacking under Ange, constantly getting up, up yeah, and I down. I think he scored twice for Celtic maybe. He's also, he also played for Canada. That's true. I did rate him. I rated him at the World Cup. He's very good. Very, very good. I just don't think he's on Tavernier's level. You've also got to take into consideration that he is the captain. Yeah. Uh, that is a big thing. Right, well, we've gone right back. We'll try left back. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Jacob, which right back are you picking? I'm going right to pick a left back. Right, right, <laughs> left back, sorry. Left back. Uh, yep. Know Johnson's career goals. Yeah, aye. We've got a VAR man behind us. Johnson has nine career goals. It's impressive. What's Tav got this season? I think it's more this season. I think you might be right. I think you're probably right. Not that goals are in it. I think he's a better footballer all round. But Not a better footballer all round, I don't think. Tavernier's Tavani, better attacking. John Saffield better defending. Tavernier has 21 goals this season. <laughs> So Tavernier is an attacking fullback, but I'd say Johnson's better defending. I'm really interested to see what the comments are saying right now. Because hopefully I've, they're yeah, interested. Make uh, sure you're commenting by the way what your team is, yeah. along with who's making these outrageous claims. Yeah, left back for me is Yilmaz. Uh, I think Barisic sadly is no longer good enough, and if I have to watch Greg Taylor put on a Scotland shirt ever again, I will probably lose my head. <laughs> you're, tra- you're trying to get in my side <laughs> here. I don't rate Greg Taylor. But I don't rate your fullbacks either. You don't rate your Yilmaz? Back. No. I don't rate Yilmaz. No. What's wrong with him? Tiny. Uh, it's not about the size, it's about what he does. Every cross he puts in seems to be over hit or under hit. Uh, I mean, uh, he gets ran past quite easily. But he's probably technically better than any of the other options at left back that you guys could have. Mm. That's the only thing he's got. The, I don't rate any of them, honestly. I, I of their peaks, Barisic is well clear of the other two. But I think Yilmaz is the best of the three right now. Okay. Adam, what do you think? I mean, I'm going to put the case for Greg Taylor. I have to, obviously. Yeah. You, don't uh, have to. you definitely don't have to. I think Greg Taylor, in the inverted fullback role, was very, very good under Ange. I think Does he, he has been that a, now? He, I think, what's up? Does he play that now? He doesn't play that now. So what, is he good a, at what he plays now? He is solid at what he plays now. Right. He, he, solid. Has, he has improved from when he first joined Celtic, I okay. think. He's got to a higher level, and... Last season, he was Celtic's most improved player, I think. You know the most improved player. You got it a few times at youth football. It's for the worst player on the team. <laughs> That's a point off for you, Jacob. <laughs> I was going to say, I think Greg Taylor, in the right role, is absolutely solid. I do not rate Yelmaz. I think on the right-hand side at Celtic Park, he got bullied. For the month. He got bullied by Celtic's right-hand side at Celtic Park. Was it not Sterling at left-back? Or was that at Ibrox? 
No, we're not sure. Sterling definitely has played a. If you'd put Sterling, back. you might have more of a shout to get in this, by the way. I Sterling. Like Sterling. I mean, I mean, Sterling's for each other position. He's Dujon Mustard, that's what he is. <laughs> well, we will get to that when we get to that then. Right. So you've clearly both gone for your own left back. You've gone for Yelmaz, you've gone for Greg Taylor. This is like picking, uh, like. It's a which, which turd is better? Really? That's so is. harsh on Yelmaz, I think. I, I don't rate Yelmaz at all. I'm now going to give this... this oh, how am I doing this? I'm giving it to Greg Taylor. If you don't embarrass it, you know what, for that, you know what for that? When we kick off versus Germany, it's going to be Greg Taylor and it's going to be your fault from this moment. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way Greg Taylor starts unless we get an injury to like four people. <laughs> I'll write him in. Get Greg Taylor in there somehow. How does that make him wow. inverted? Because that's clearly when he's best. <laughs> Just do a wee arrow. Have him in the midfield. I've got him slightly inverted. Yeah. Okay, right, boys, let's finish off that defence. I'm assuming by the way, we think, are going for a four at the I back. I think so. centre half is the easiest position. Do you want to just give me your I want to say my two of Goldson and Carter Vickers. Why do you think that? I think it's the best one from each team. That's fair enough. Aaron, what do you think? I don't have much to argue with that. I, I'm sorry, but the people that say that scales has somehow been an improvement are... Daffies. Better Daffies. Delusional? No, yeah. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say delusional. I do like scales, but he's not the long term answer at Celtic. Okay, okay. Not the long term answer at Celtic. I think that's quite easy. I think that one Goldson, be easy. Carter Vickers. We'll get ourselves moving on. Not mess about with that play one. Go to next to Tav. We'll play CCV on the other side, just so they're next to their pals. Lovely. Right, boys. Now, what kind of formation we have? I think now? a four-two-three-one. So two kind of midfielders, mm -hmm. one playing slightly forward, two wingers, and a striker. That's Aaron, hard, you like. happy with that? I'm happy with that. That's fine. Well, let's start off with your two holders then. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We'll go for Aaron first. Yeah. Well, if one of them is not Callum McGregor, then this video should not be taken seriously in any way, shape or form. Yeah, I'll accept that. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Callum McGregor goes in. I mean, we don't have to mess about with these ones. I, it, this is going much quicker now, isn't it? Uh, I think the other one has to be John Lundstrom. And Aaron, what do you say to that? <sighs> Sucks in a lot of air there. <laughs> He's blowing up a balloon. No. I am, I am trying to be as fair and unbiased as I can be. Okay. I feel like that's probably the fairest way. Awata has not played enough games. I think I do like him, but he's not played enough games compared to Lynch. You ever seen Awata play? No, not at all. I, I think I've maybe seen him twice. I'm surprised you didn't say Hatate, but I know he's, lot, he's not played a lot this season. Hatate is attacking. More attacking. Hatate's Hatate Hatate over there on the bench. No, <laughs> oh, is it? Hatate's starting, and I will tell you why. Hatate won't start, and I'll he tell you start. why in a second. He will start. He definitely will. He will start. I'm, I mean, a bit, I'm a bit excited, but, but, but guys, let's, right, <laughs> let's not jump the gun here. Who is this other player that's? Starting? I think John Lundstrom. Aaron, who do you think? Who are you putting there? You can pick any player from Celtic or Rangers, by the way. I think, to be honest, Awat has been great, but he's... You've talked about him already, enough of him. <laughs> no, I have to talk about him. He's the only other only natural CDM in the right. game. John Lundstrom. I'd say Awat, but realistically, I don't think I'm going to get any votes here, so I'm feeling Lundstrom will be going in. Lundstrom is going in. There Do you want me go. to now tell you why there's no Hitati? Because in front of them is Matt O'Reilly. So you've only gone for the one attacking. But that's what's happening, yeah. No, there's yeah. two defensive mids. Two defensive ones, okay. and you've got a, a midfielder playing slightly further forward, and then two wingers and a striker. That's, okay. we, we did discuss this five minutes ago. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he's already forgotten. Yeah. So yeah. you can't have... Hotati doesn't make it in because O'Reilly does. So he's being fair and he's giving yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. O'Reilly, get him in. He's, he's been the best midfielder. Yeah. yeah. He's been the best midfielder uh, in the country this season. What's the... If, it, if you couldn't pick a Celtic player, who would the Rangers player be? Here? For there, either Diamandi, Cantwell, Lawrence... They all... Diamandi's not done enough yet. They played, Diamandi, they played Diamandi, best. They played best. Cantwell at his best, brilliant. And Lawrence is just always in trouble. Cantwell is so often not at his best, but... Yeah. but we'll I see. Think. See you on Sunday. He's never performed against Celtic. Apart from the 3-0. And a dead rubber game that didn't matter. But it still has performed versus Celtic. In a dead rubber game. You know, Celtic had already won the league at that point. You know, winning trophies. You know, I, it, was, it, it was fair enough. It was disappointing, but it was fair enough. Every time when it's mattered against Celtic, Cantwell has bottled it. Ah, oh, there you go. Is that the... Uh, Fight talk. The Morelos fever, is that what that is? That is a bit of the Morelos fever. Yeah. Think. Well, there we go. So we've got in the midfield, Lindstrom with McGregor and just in front of them, Matt O'Reilly. Unfortunately, Hatati does miss out and of course the mentions that you've had yeah. just put there. Right, boys. Jacob, I want you to go first here. Uh, left wing? Left wing, please. Uh, Seema. I think until he was injured, he was potentially going to be player of the season. Well, Okay. Anything else to add to that? Just uh, how, how long has he been now. out for? He's back now. Played he... at the weekend. 
see if he's fit enough for Sunday. I'm getting a wee. You're getting a bit excited. Oh, I do like my abdominals. Yeah, you see me there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's fast, he's strong, and he's got an eye for a goal. Okay, that, that's a good, uh, good We've choice. not had wingers that score goals. I loved Kent, but he didn't score goals. Yeah. Seema does. Yeah, fair enough. Aaron, what do you say to that? Um, for left wing. For left wing. Um, left wing, I, let's be honest. Who do you feel I, like? I would say Luis Palma here. Mm-hmm. I think he also has an eye for a goal. Top 10 in the league this season for goals and assists. Which you found out earlier on. Check out our TikToks, of course. I love that he brings tenable stats because that is... To be fair, Aaron actually didn't know that he was in the top 10. If you, oh, <laughs> again, you have to watch to find out. <laughs> I just simply forgot about him. That's how it was. But... Forgettable player. I think has been a little bit unlucky this season. He's, he's done so much since Jota's left, I think. A lot of the time at the start of the season, he was seen as the Jota replacement. I would have agreed. I thought he's, he's, he's quick. He is good at the ball. I think that's kind of misunderstood a little bit about his game, even by Celtic <laughs> fans. And... I think he is the left wing choice. I think Sima again it comes, it comes under it comes under the range. I think Sima has not been good against Celtic at all. I don't think I've not rated them. I at should all. have got a penalty in one of them, and I cannot remember the first game of the season. I vaguely remember that. Yeah. What? Who's your right wing out shout just before? Are you what you guys? No, 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 no. Before we confirm that, who who are you putting forward as right wing? I'm putting forward Dyson Maid as right wing. How about we put Sima in and we put in Palma on the right because Maeda's headless. <laughs> he's actually he's grown a hair it's weird I don't know if you've seen it he has, what? he's he gone blonde hair. or something is it blonde or ginger or? Uh, it is, it's the Keisuke Honda look ah, kind of thing alright oh, okay. yeah. uh, it's for his daughter which is very wholesome That's the, so we can so we can find him how about you just don't <laughs> keep going missing <laughs> outrageous but I, I think it should be Seaman Palmer then what do you think about that he's c- tried to compromise or do you, do you really want Maida in over do you think Maida's better than Seema now is what I'm asking you. I do think Maida is better than Seema however I do respect he has tried to compromise. He respects. You've done well there, by the way, because that's a good bit of manipulation from you. Do you think that is manipulation? Because I think uh, Seema's the best of the three. I don't mind it. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't really care. Are you happy with my pens? Do you want Seema in there and you then take Palma or... Yep. I'm happy enough to argue for Palma. You know what? You have to agree and it means I don't need to pick, so I'm more than happy for you to do it as well. It'd be good if I could spell. P-A-A-L-M-A. That's how you do it. Palma and Seema on either flank. Right, boys? Don't know how this will be. We'll go for... Striker, of course, because that's all we've got left. Are you? What are we basing are, this on? That's a good current question. Aaron, you peak, hold this mic for this one. You just current it. peak or on their day? Because I think that's three bet, three different answers, kind of. Base it on however we want to base it on, Jacob. That's current, it's silky cereal. How they've been overall at their time, it's Kyogo. At their peak, it's Roof. I've not got a mic now, so I, I, I don't know why I gave it to um, you. We're, <laughs> it, it's Rebecca. We're interviewing you. Like, um, I, I'd say best striker on the day, one million percent Kyogo. I think his movement off the ball is superb. I think his finishing is superb. He is, he was for two years the most lethal striker See, in the league. Was, and in the right system, still could be. A lot has been said that the reason why Kyogo has not been doing as well this season is because of the system that Brendan Rodgers plays. However, in the last couple of weeks, he has started to adapt to that. Five and six, he's starting to get himself back into a decent bit of form. And when he's on that form, like, he's already scored against Rangers this season at Ibrooks. Brilliant goal from what yeah, I remember. I and I think, now that he has settled into a Brendan Rodgers system, I think he is the best striker out of everyone at Celtic and at Rangers I so. think the fact that we call Dessers a bit of a donkey and he's scored more than Kyogo he's better at off the ball in terms of he actually puts himself about links to play like actually some of Dessers best work is his passes and yeah I think the reason for that is that Rangers have been able to adapt to Clement's system quicker than Celtic have even though Clement came in halfway team. through the season. So I say then, I know I'm kind of skipping ahead here, but are you then saying maybe that Clement's better than Rodgers? That would be the manager for this team. I'd say, I'd say this. Because that, do you want to kind of do the two together here? Because I don't think you can have Kyogo and Rodgers. If you're going to have Kyogo, you can't be having Rodgers based off what you've said. Do you have maybe <laughs> Kyogo and then you have Clem? I, I, don't, I disagree with that because we've seen in the last couple of weeks that he has started to find himself in that Brendan Rodgers system. So I think you can have both. 
That's you're just saying you just want both because you're Celtic. <laughs> is that what you're saying? I'm saying I do want both, and I'm giving an argument case as to why. Kyogo is learning how to play in the Rogers system, and he's starting is to find some goals done again. It? The last two games, one being Levy. He has away. scored five goals in six games. And still behind. He has had an off season and is still in the top 10 in the league. What does that tell you? He's the Celtic striker. Being in the top 10 in the league is not. He should be top two. Celtic have always been a team that have never relied solely on their strikers, though. There's been goals throughout the Celtic team in most seasons that they've done well. McGregor's contributed. O'Reilly's contributed. Hattati contributes. Yeah. Well, fair enough. I, you guys, again, you don't seem like you're going to agree here. I don't think so. Uh, no shout for Fabio Silva? Too early. And also, £40 million pounds, Wolves have wasted their money. Uh, he works hard. He does. He played well against Benfica. I'll give him that. The first leg especially. I just want more. Yeah. Fair Can enough. Can I say one thing? No. Yeah, of course. In the last six games, Kyogo has two goals. Sky Sports said five and six. Take it up with them. Oh. I think Heggy has, to be fair. He's... I didn't think Kyogo had been scoring as many as five and six. Uh, So it's pretty much the argument here is you're saying that Des has been better than Kyogo this season, therefore he is the striker in this current team. Mm -hmm. And Aaron is saying that overall the better player is Kyogo based off what he's done previously. I'd say both are fair comments actually as well. Yeah. Aaron, you agree with that? Yeah, I'd say that's fair. I'd say that's rock, paper, scissors because I can't decide. (laughs) You have to decide. I'm going to have to decide. Oh, Dessers is a donkey, isn't he? He really, really is. And he still has more than Kyogo yeah, I know. and Link in the play. Not... But also hasn't contributed against Celtic. Right. Hmm. And this is the big one that matters. What, this hasn't... You put the pressure on, is that what you're saying? You put the pressure on. I've reached it now. Oh, does that mean that... that whoever I pick is who's winning. There's a manager then afterwards. Though. Yeah, there's a manager. So that's 12. Right, I'm going to use the logic I used earlier. If I go Kyogo then I need Clement to be the manager. <laughs> All right? Are you but happy with that? I am willing, but I am willing to concede that. That is, what I'm go- that is what I'm going for. That means you guys, I know you're obviously, you would disagree. Would you disagree? Yeah, with I would the disagree. I think, I? I think obviously Clement, Wait, you're putting in Kyogo and he disagrees. I'm wanting Kyogo in, right. but I'm saying me as in within the managers. The managers now. The managers. Like, the managers. Like, you you are putting Clement, Clement in because I know you're going to disagree, but Aaron, why is it not Clement? Uh, the reason it's not Clement is because... I still think it is a bit too early for Clement. I think Rodgers has done well. Bear in mind, he's had two spells in Scotland. And in the first spell, he won everything. In the second spell, a bit rocky to start, but still in contention for the league, still in contention for the Scottish Cup. If it ends up being a double and Rangers only went away with one trophy, you could argue that Celtic have had a more successful season than Rangers domestic. Well, there's no argument. That's clear. But if Clement wins a treble in his first season... That's a big if. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Well, Clement's our manager. Jacob, I know you're going to say it's Clement. Uh, I actually really rated Rodgers at Leicester. I thought he was so unlucky to bottle fourth twice. I know that sounds like I'm slagging him, but to get Leicester fifth, like, look at them now. One yeah. the They're in the same league as Leeds, so... <laughs> that's very true. If you don't know, that's Aaron's other team, Leeds. <laughs> the English team, the English team. So, I, yeah, I think right now, Clement's clearly doing better, but I feel we were very quick to give him it. Fair enough. Oh, but... No, I, I was just so I could move on with the Kyogo thing. Uh, I was giving you Clement. You didn't want that. it to be an hour long. Fair. Yeah, don't want to mess about too much. We've only got a couple more questions left. Okay. Okay. This <laughs> nice and easy ones. Hopefully. No. Uh, this one I want to know who's got this. I know you're not going to agree here, but who's got the better fan base? And we're going to start with uh, Mister Adam Turnbull. You guys. Start with Jacob. We start with Adam every time. You think so? Yeah. Jacob. Uh, Eggy's spoken. I would say Rangers have the better fan base. Why? Uh, well I've been to Ibrox for Rangers games I've never been to Parkhead for a Celtic game so I can obviously only really speak from that experience and we sell out we go every game sometimes you see some seats at Parkhead the the atmospheres on European nights unbelievable like knockout stage games I know we've not seen any of those at Parkhead since who knows when but the knockout stage games are better than anything in the UK okay yeah. Fair enough. So you just think you're just better because you have the better atmosphere. Yeah. What about, is there maybe more that you do as a community and things like that? We have really nice TIFOs. <laughs> what do you mean as a community? We have really nice TIFOs. I feel like something, I feel like, Cel- debatable point. I feel like Celtic would they would talk about that sort of stuff. But we'll let Aaron speak now. Aaron, what do you think? Uh, totally disagree. I think the fact that the but biggest... you get better knockout atmospheres. The biggest and best players in world football have all mentioned one stadium that they feared going to the most. 
Celtic Park for the atmosphere. So Alex Ferguson. Feared. Celtic Park <laughs> goes and this is Park. Yeah. This is best fans, not best atmosphere. Yeah, and fans make the atmosphere, Heggy. So that is. I'm just making sure you know. <laughs> but I don't but, need backup, brother. I was going to say. No, I, I want to. Um, I feel like Aaron's unfortunately been ganged up on a wee bit because Heggy, of course, is a Rangers fan. Yeah. But, he's but, him out there. Yeah. Nah, that, he was really helping me. Thanks, Heggy. But I don't <laughs> feel like I need the help because I think. Whenever Celtic Celtic play in Europe, it's always talked about as you've. I don't think it is anymore. I think it still is. I think they all their best atmospheres were like 08, 09, 10, 11, like under Strachan and stuff like that. Martin O'Neill. I think you've actually never. I don't think anything's been spoken about Celtic's atmospheres in the last five years. I totally disagree. The likes of Luka Modric, Tony Cruz have all said it. The biggest, <laughs> the biggest, the biggest players in European football still want to come to Celtic Park for the atmosphere on European nights. No, they want to come for an easy win. No, they want to come for the atmosphere. <laughs> Look at Modric was had his walking stick out and wasn't getting anyone near him. I was, I was Hazard like, scored. He's been finished for about five years. <laughs> I, I Mudrick, I like, Mudrick scored a goal. I was going to say you are you're getting roughly rattled there, brother. You're right. You good? Are you rattled, Jacob? Just... I can't believe he thinks that it's been good recently. I don't think it has. I think I can say for one thing. The game against Feyenoord, superb atmosphere at Celtic Park, 100%. I think, historically, the atmosphere has always been better than Celtic. I think, as you've rightly said, Celtic do a lot for the community, of course. <laughs> and I knew it. You know, I knew Celtic had that in their locker. I, and, I hey, and similarly, the way support, they follow Celtic everywhere that they go. They're always there. They're always there. They're there and they're always there, as a wise man once said. <laughs> Tommy Burns, for those wondering. Um, and yeah, I don't think it's much of a contest. I think Rangers fans turn on the team quite easily. We've heard a lot of boos at Ibrooks when things haven't. You gone booed out. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got to say to that? That you booed Santa. We booed one time. You booed <laughs> countless times. It was Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. Celtic eat Christmas. <laughs> Because I was going to say, I feel like I'm not going to get anywhere with this, man. No, no, no. no not anywhere. You booed Santa. No, that's bad. You booed Santa. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I don't need to pick who's got the better uh, no, atmosphere. But I do have to be, make, make a point that I think recently the media has bigged up Rangers more because you've got back those, to the big time. It, it was those European nights. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, that's what they care about more because it's on BT and stuff like that. They yeah. don't care about your league games at home. That, that's fair. That's fair. Well... You're not going to agree, so you're going to have to agree to disagree, which yeah. is good fun. Um, we'll just move on quickly to what's important in the future, and that is, first of all, who is winning on Sunday? It's a massive one, isn't it? Start with you, Jacob. What do you think? Um, I think we will win. I think they've been poor recently. I think we are slightly better. We've been in good-ish form. We seem to have no real injuries Bar maybe at left back, but Sterling can maybe come in, I'm not sure. I just, it's also at home. So you've got to fancy yourselves at home. But we'll see. I'm, I think we'll win, but I don't, I'm not thinking 3 0. Right. Not like last May. I think it'll be closer. Aaron, what do you think? I think this is coming at a very, very good time for Celtic. We're getting key players back. Carter Vickers came back today. Hatati came back today. Cal I Mc think, I don't know if they've came back soon enough. Like I think you haven't. I, you mean they I, haven't been playing long enough? Like no, they haven't got a run of games yeah. going. I disagree. Carter Vickers was the best player in the park today. I know, we, we've again, seen how Libby. we've seen how much Celtic missed Hattati. Him being there will be huge. Cal McGregor's coming back, having the captain there, and of course Celtic don't need to psychologically prove anything this season at Ibrox. We've won there already. Okay. I don't know if that comes into it. Do you think that matters? Nah, it's, but it's a different team back then, is, really. Yeah. It was still Michael Beale. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think you don't want your first game back to be an old firm away from home. McGregor's not played in, what, four, five weeks or something? Cal McGregor does not... And he didn't not... even play minutes against Livy. Cal what McGregor crap. does not need G'd up for an old firm. No, I don't think he needs G'd up, but he needs to be able to run. He will He will be able to run on Sunday, 100%. I just, uh, I just want for Scotland, really. So, uh, so he's got uh, months. You're, so he you're, can... you're, all right, you're all right in that as well. But Rangers will need to find a way to stop him, and they better hope to goodness that... He is maybe struggling a little bit because see if he's on anywhere near form, Rangers are in trouble. Big trouble. There you go. Battle cry from Aaron there. That is a battle cry. I like that. Battle cry. Well, do they play that in Sky Sports before <laughs> before the game? <laughs> Slow mo of the team coming off the bus and it's Aaron. So you, the big thing for you is if Cal McGregor's on it, you win the game. If Cal McGregor's not on it, do you think maybe the game goes another way? The game will be closer. 
I think at that point it becomes a bit more like Jacob said. It's going to be close. Very close. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, one last thing then. Simply, who's going to win the league? Who's I, going to win the league? And, well, I, think, I know you're going to see Rangers. You'll probably say Celtic. Why are you going to I win the league? I think whoever wins Sunday wins the league. Wow, okay. And I think, as I've said, we will win. So clearly I must think we will win the league. But my goodness, it's close. I actually don't think this Rangers team are that good. I don't. I think I've really enjoyed the teams of before. And I think as well, we've got a few players that aren't at their peak. Like Golton's looking a bit leggy and stuff like that. But we win the league. 56, Aaron's favourite number. <laughs> there you go. Fair enough. Aaron, your response? Uh, disagree. I think Celtic, let's be honest, they know how to win things. We know how to win league titles. We've done it so, so often over the last decade. As, uh, the winning machine hasn't quite been at its best this season. I will grant that. I don't believe Rangers are that good either. I don't think particularly we've been at our best either. But it's again going to come down to the individuals that know how to win, that know what it's all about to be part of this. Carl McGregor knows that. A lot of this Rangers team is new. They maybe won't. So I think, as I agree with Jacob in the sense that whoever wins on Sunday will win the league, even if there is one more derby to go after this. And I think it will be Celtic. I think Celtic will go on, win the league. I think, I don't want to say too much. I think the pressure's on the game in hand for them. Mm -hmm. And historically, when things like that have happened, they've not been the best. There you go. There we go. So you obviously both think that your own team's going to win the league. Fair enough. We're going to wrap this up now. Quickly, scoreline for the weekend. I'm going to say Rangers 1, Celtic 2. Scoreline for you, Jacob. I'm saying Rangers 2, Celtic 1. There we go. There you go. Comment what you think the score's going to be. Make sure you're putting your team as well in there. Make sure you're liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. And as always, take, take it easy. easy.